Hey, good afternoon everybody. Today I'm doing something different. Instead of cooking, I'm going to do a small science experiment for you here. There is a debate raging in the supplement world because they come in two different forms, or actually three. They come in the natural group, which is either triglycerides or phospholipids, and the artificial group, which is ethyl ester. Now, there are several journal articles out there, you know, weighing the benefits of which one has a higher absorption, is there better bioavailability, and so on, and you can make up your own decision because there is a cost factor involved. Now, there's a very simple way you can tell, and what you need is you need some sample product and some styrofoam uh, because the ethyl ester form is highly reactive um, with styrofoam, and the triglycerides and the phospholipids are inert, and they're not. So we'll find out what we've got here. So for today's experiment, I have three types. I've got uh, purified concentrated omega-3, which is you know a mass market commercial brand. And um, I've got a whole salmon oil from a health food store. And I also have an NKO type krill oil, which has become quite popular. Uh, you know, but there is the concern of depletion of natural stocks if everybody decides that they all want krill oil. So let's get to business here. So I'll start on the right with the krill oil and that characteristic red color comes from a substance called astaxanthin. Next is the salmon oil and last is the purified omega-3 which is quite a bit thinner and sprayed all over the counter. Sorry about that. Here we are after about three minutes or so and <laughs> the results are quite clear. Um, I'll zoom in here and start from the right. So the krill oil is uh, definitely a triglyceride or phospholipid. Um, the whole salmon is definitely triglyceride. It did sort of soak through tiny holes in the styrofoam but it's basically untouched and here is the commercial grade purified omega-3 that ate a hole clear through it in three minutes uh, so you can be sure that this is ethyl ester now the choice is yours you make it I just figured y'all should know and as usual thanks for watching and I do hope to see you again